Right here, I'm going to show you what I'll have to make a curry in jail, an HP curry. Before you, before you even start making one, you need to rip your hygienic kettle, the on and off switch, rip it all off, and join the black and the, the blue and the red wires together because that's your thermostat, and that's obviously you can't really cook with a thermostat that works. But then you just need half a jail spoon of garam masala, half a jail spoon of coriander. Half a jail spoon of paprika, and half a jail spoon of chilli powder and garlic powder, but I've got paste. Half a tin of chopped tomato and two tins of tuna, but you can use mackerel and chicken off server and chicken legs out. And then, yeah, right, stop that. Obviously, once you brown your onions off in your kettle like that with a bit of butter and oil, get half a tin of chopped tomatoes. Oh, one minute, let me just uh, get another tin. Yeah. So half a tin straight in kettle. Right. And then the spice mix I showed you earlier. Add that. Mix it up. And then after this, once you give it a good mix and you can start smelling it, add a bit of salt to bring out the flavours of spices. A pinch of salt and then add your meat you can use chickpeas meat mackerel tuna make sure you get it in oil though it's a lot better for curry so yeah, just hold on right just into that And then now you just need to watch, going back to before with the thermostat, now the kettle will never cut out, so don't leave it in your cell if you don't want to, or should out like that, because it'll just boil over in the right fucking mess. Give it a good mix. Give it a good mix and then let it simmer. Let it simmer for a few hours, two or three hours, and then when our oil, oil's risen to the top, it's ready and it's cooked. The longer you leave it, the better it's going to taste. And then, yeah, that's how you make a, a bog standard gel curry. Done.